नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज सिंगल साइड वेंट मॉड्यूलेशन और एस एस बी इन लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वी टॉक अबाउट डबल साइड बेंट सप्रेस कैरियर एज अ ट्रांसमिटेड सिग्नल इन डबल साइड बेंट सप्रेस कैरियर द कैरियर पार्ट इज सप्रेस्ड एंड वी हैव अपर साइड बेंट एंड लोअर साइड बेंट दैट इज डबल साइड बेंट एंड वी नो दैट द इंफॉर्मेशन कंटेन इन बोथ द बैंड इज आइडेंटिकल so we can suppress one of the sideband so there is a modification in standard em that is suppression of carrier and one of the sideband in this technique there is no information lost and this technique is called ssb or ssb sc and on the basis of suppression of one of the sideband the ssb may be called lower ssb or upper ssb now we are going to derive mathematically the equation of single side band for this we consider message signal and carrier signal both are sinusoidal one but the frequency of carrier is very much larger as compared to message signal and to obtain single side band we consider double side band suppressed carrier wave that is equals to product of carrier and message signal so putting the value of carrier and message we get ac into am cos 2 pi fct into cos 2 pi fmt and here there are two cos terms so we can use the formula of two cos a cos b for this we first multiply and divide by 2 and we get 1 upon 2 AC into AM cos within bracket 2 pi FC plus FM into T plus 1 upon 2 AC into AM cos within bracket 2 pi FC minus FM into T. So here we have two side frequencies. First term contain upper side frequency that is FC plus FM, and the second term consists lower side frequency that is FC minus FM. and after suppressing one of the side frequency we get single side band first when we suppress the lower side frequency it is called upper single side band and it is equals to 1 upon 2 ac into am cos within bracket 2 pi fc plus fm into t now again we can expand this equation that is upper single side band by using a formula cos a plus b that is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b after using this formula the upper single side band equation is 1 upon 2 ac into am cos 2 pi fct into cos 2 pi fmt minus 1 upon 2 ac into am sin 2 pi fct into sin 2 pi fmt also we can suppress upper side frequency and this is called lower single side band and equation is 1 upon 2 ac into am cos within bracket 2 pi fc minus fm into t here we use a formula cos a minus b that is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b after using this formula we get a equation of lower single side band modulation and it is equals to 1 upon 2 AC into AM cos 2 pi FCT into cos 2 pi FMT plus 1 upon 2 AC into AM sin 2 pi FCT into sin 2 pi FMT. So we can write a common single side band equation that is called general SSB. In this equation, between the two terms, there is a sign negative. when we consider upper single side band and positive when we consider lower single side band or we can say that when the lower side frequency is suppressed then we use negative sign and it is called upper single side band and when we suppress upper side frequency in this case we have a positive sign between the two terms and the technique is called lower single side band now in general ssb wave we have two terms in a first term the message signal is am cos 2 pi fmt and in a second term the message is am sin 2 pi fmt 
So on this basis, we consider a message signal that is periodic in nature and it is a mixture of sinusoidal wave with harmonically related frequencies. And we call message signal that contain cos term is m function of t and the message signal that contains sine term we call m cap function of t. And the periodic message signals is defined by Fourier series is given as m function of t equals to summation a suffix n cos 2 pi fmt for all values of n and m cap t that is equals to summation a n sine 2 pi fmt for all values of n. So m function of t and m cap function of t are the mixture of sinusoidal waves. Here we consider carrier signal as a common for all sinusoidal component of m t or m cap t. And accordingly for periodic message signal the SSB wave is written as s function of t equals to 1 upon 2 ac cos 2 pi fct into summation a n cos 2 pi fmt for all values of n minus plus 1 upon 2 ac sin 2 pi fct summation a n sin 2 pi fmt for all values of n. So between the two terms we have a sign that is negative sign for u upper single sideband and positive sign for lower single sideband. And the general single sideband equation is equals to ac by 2 into mt cos 2 pi fct minus plus ac by 2 m cap t into sin 2 pi fct minus sign for upper single sideband and positive sign for lower single sideband. Now we note a point here we can derive m cap t that is a periodic signal from a modulating signal m function of t by a method that is called Hilbert transform. In Hilbert transform, the cosine term of mt is shifted by minus 90 degree and we get a m cap t that contain a sine term. So we can say that for the generation of single side band, we use a transform that is called Hilbert transform. With the help of Hilbert transform, we can obtain m cap t from mt by simply shifting cosine term of mt by minus 90 degree. Also the Hilbert transformer is a wideband phase shifter and its frequency response having a characteristic in two parts. The first is the magnitude response of the wideband phase shifter is unity for all frequencies that is for both positive and negative frequencies and the second part is the phase response. The phase response is plus 90 degree for negative frequencies and minus 90 degrees for positive frequencies. So these are the two frequency response of the wideband phase shifter that is called Hilbert transformer. Now with the help of Hilbert transform we can obtain m cap function of t from mt. So the Hilbert transform of mt is m cap t and it is equals to convolution of m function of t and 1 upon pi t. And this is obtained by using a wideband phase shifter that is called Hilbert transformer. Here we take a convolution of message signal mt and 1 upon pi t and the formula is 1 upon pi integration m tau into 1 upon t minus tau d tau or simply 1 upon pi integration m tau upon t minus tau into d tau. The integration range is from minus infinity to infinity. So by using the Hilbert transform the cosine term of the message signal mt is shifted by minus 90 degree and we get a sine term that is m cap t. So we can write Hilbert transform of am cos 2 pi fmt equals to am sine 2 pi fmt. Next is frequency domain description of single sideband. For this we consider any arbitrary message signal in time domain that is m function of t and its frequency version is obtained by using Fourier transform denoted by capital M function of f 
and figure A is a spectrum of message signal having bandwidths capital W. Since here we consider any arbitrary message signal, so the spectrum is also arbitrary. After modulation, that is double sideband suppressed carrier, this spectrum of message signal that is centered around origin is shifted to plus minus FC, which we have discussed in last video lectures. And to obtain the single sideband spectrum, we suppress one of the sidebands. When we suppress the lower sideband, the corresponding SSB is called upper single sideband and its equation is AC by 2 within bracket MT cos 2 pi FCT minus M cap T sin 2 pi FCT. In case of upper single sideband, there is a negative sign between two terms. And in order to get lower single sideband, we have to suppress the upper sideband. And corresponding equation of lower single sideband is equals to AC by 2 within bracket MT cos 2 pi FCT plus M cap T sin 2 pi FCT. Here, there is a positive sign between two terms. So, the figure C is a spectrum of upper single sideband and figure D is a spectrum of lower single sideband. And we know that for the generation of single sideband that is upper single sideband or lower single sideband we use a Hilbert transformer. Hilbert transformer is a type of wideband phase shifter also called a system whose transfer function is defined by capital H function of F equals to minus J signum of F. Here signum function of F is a signum function. So we can say that in order to generate a single sideband, we use a Hilbert transformer and in Hilbert transformer, we use the property of signum function. Next, we discuss the properties of Hilbert transform. The first property is the signal f function of t and its Hilbert transform f function of t suffix h have the same energy density spectrum. Second property is the signal ft and its Hilbert transform ft suffix h also have the same autocorrelation function. According to third property that is a signal ft and its Hilbert transform ft suffix h are mutually orthogonal. That is integration of ft and its Hilbert transform is always zero for all values of t that is from minus infinity to plus infinity. And the fourth property is if the Hilbert transform of function ft is equals to ft suffix h then if we again find the Hilbert transform of ft suffix h it is equals to minus of ft. So these are the properties of Hilbert transform and with the help of these properties we can generate the single sideband 